So we just did consent. I don't want my client to be slabbing about like this. So we just done consent, yeah? You want to talk about safeguarding, yeah? Safeguarding. So, so we understand why this is so important. Why is that? Safeguarding important to offer counsel and yes, safeguards because you see some people, we're talking about the most vulnerable, yeah, even some people, they, they do not have the outreach, guys. Okay, go watch Consent, innit? Go watch Consent. And we even made a tape on reporting abuse. Um, but I'm going to put these videos in Unity. We started a playlist called Unity. Go listen to them videos here. We're talking more about becoming more chic, successful, even charitable the last few days. But safeguarding now, yeah? Safeguarding so important. Safeguarding so important. This is why we report these things. We, we make logs of them. You know, it's not just, oh, you know, okay, all right. So, 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 wait, we touched down on reporting things to the police, yeah? We, we, we did touch down on stuff like that, okay? But when it comes to the safeguarding now, yeah, you understand, okay? You understand a lot of places as well, okay? Even that they will put you in contact with, yeah? But there are a lot of places that they have um, outreach here. Yeah. There's a lot of places you can get cancelled, yeah? What kind of places are there, yeah, that do this kind of safeguarding? People that do safeguarding, yeah, are charity. they charities. they charities for number one, yeah? What, what, kind of, what kind of charities are there? What kind of charities are there? What kind of charities have you dealt with, Lorna? I've, I've dealt with a lot of charities too, yeah? You dark horse, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've dealt with a lot of charity, yeah? i dealt with a lot of charity. I, I, I have been involved with charity, yeah? As somebody that, that needed them. And now I take it upon myself to be somebody that um gives it, yeah? To, to, to what I understand, innit? To what I understand about myself, yeah, and, and, and the world and my experiences, and a lot of them I've had. A lot of them I've had, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. This, this is why we're talking about making the point of being selective, man. You don't just give all your money to anyone now, innit? You know, you, you should give it to the freaking, the most vulnerable, those that are going to take a path such as yourself, innit? So, let's talk about these kind of charities, yeah. The kinds of charities I've been involved in, yeah, so, so from young, yeah, um, it was things to do with, um, you know, like, you know, like going on trips, yeah, so, so things like disadvantaged children, yeah, so children that grow up in pure, um, I said pure communities, yeah, wow, that's what I was going to say, yeah, poor communities, poor communities, all right, they grow up in poor communities and, there's charities out there, yes, you see, you could fund some of them or set some of them up yourself, innit, yeah, raising awareness now, well, what they do, all right, is they, they take, um, families out, yeah, kids out on trips, yeah, they take them to trip, like, where, like, the seaside, the seaside, or, or, you know, they, they hire halls, yeah, they hire the halls for, like, this this competition, yeah, like with it. That's how listen, they that's how I won Lara Croft, do you know that? I won Lara Croft like that. I, I won that, yeah, because literally on my estate, yeah, as a child, yeah, they had the competition, it was a fancy dress competition. Yeah, they hired out a hall, yeah. And the kids they come in the fancy dress and then they got to win. Yeah, our, our first, a second, a third prize has give them the sweet sea Father Christmas or whatever. Yeah, and then I got into the paper. You see, and that was, do you see how I remembered that? Way into my adult life. Do you see what a fantastic opportunity that was for me? Lorna Croft, yeah? Lorna Croft, man. Yeah, ready to save the world, innit? Absolutely, innit, baby, all right? <laughs> Absolutely, baby. Ready to say the world. Um, yeah, that's, you know, I remember that into my adult life. And, and I never, um, 
I'll never, I'll never let that go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, pure of heart, yeah? That was a good achievement for me. That was a good achievement for me. You understand, yeah? So, so you give kids these kind of opportunities. Let me tell you something, guys, yeah? I have nearly completed all of my New Year's resolutions this year. No joke, yeah? I had like nine of them, yeah? I had like nine of them. And I said, I told you, go slow, in it, yeah? This is nearly November. I've nearly done them all, people. Nearly done them all, no joke. Um, We'll go through what they were, yeah, in a bit. Um, Yeah, so so things like that, yeah? So so things for, like, housing estates. Yeah, youth clubs. I've done the youth clubs. The, the Prince's Trust, though, yeah? The Prince's Trust. Let me tell you something. I had a little look at them, yeah? had a little look at them but i never actually ended up attending but i had a look into them what they do is rather good what they do is rather good like that's good like for young people yeah like say they starting out yeah in their life yeah like teenagers yeah all right they, you want you want something on your cv yeah you want your kids to get something on their cv if they get the prince's trust yeah that's supposed to be very good for them and i, I never went in for it but I'm just making you know, in it that that opportunity is there, in it. That opportunity is there. What kind of things do they do there? They they recognize talented young people, in it. Yeah. So like when I went there, there was people that, you know, they did music. Yeah. Like they they wrote music, you know, made music. They did all kinds of things. What kind of backgrounds were they from? The Prince's Trust. Yeah. All kinds. All kinds. Yeah. All kinds. And I did notice something, yeah, about the people that were on there, yeah. They, these kids' attitudes as well. Like, they were from the hood, you know what I'm saying? But you could see, like, the people that were just graduating from there, their attitudes were different. Their attitudes were different, yeah. Their attitudes were different after completing that. So that's good, yeah. But no, I never went to do that. So so let me tell you, yeah. So the thing for the housing estates, the, the youth clubs. The youth club, good for them. The youth club, good for them. Especially when they like... Especially when they like doing things like competition for dress up. They get to be in the paper. They get to get something on their CV. They love the music. Yeah, they, they, they need other opportunities and to be pointed in another direction and even just a sense of a self-worth and achievement, you know? Yeah, I've been involved in charity where, as well, yeah, so it's a den, yeah, growing up in a in, um, poor community. I was involved with one charity where, like, they take you on trips, yeah, they take you to the seaside. They take you to the seaside and then when it's Christmas and stuff like that, people donate, you see, yeah, like clothes and toys to them. And we used to get bags of toys and clothes, yeah? We used to get things like that. Um, And that was really cool, yeah? Like taking home a bag of toys, you know? That was really, really cool, yeah? That was really, really cool. That was really good. That was really, really good. Um... That was really good, and, and they had, like, a Christmas party, and, you know, like this, yeah, how old was I, yeah? Yeah, Lara Croft, yeah, Lara Croft, yeah, I was, like, six, yeah, I was, like, six, seven, yeah, I was, yeah, I was small, innit, I was small, man, I was probably, like, six going on seven, but, was that even five going on seven, no, no, I was six going on seven, I might have even been seven going on eight, you know? Well, they used to say, like, they say, like, five going on 30. <laughs> they used to say that about me, yeah? They used to say that about me. I, I, could, I could talk then as well, people, yeah, a lot. <laughs> they, they used to say that, like, it's bizarre, yeah? It's bizarre, like, you, yeah? You were small, yeah? But you used to have a proper little adult conversation, yeah? It was bizarre. <laughs> bizarre, man. People say that to my mum. She, she talks like, um... She talked like an adult, like her talking skills, yeah, are so good. Her talking skills are so good. <laughs> I could have a proper conversation. Um, yeah, so that, yeah, they take to the seaside, they, they have the little Christmas parties, give you toys, give you clothes. 
I'm other charities, yeah. Let me try to think here. When I got older, yeah. When I got let let me tell you what was rather good for me as well, yeah. PGL, yeah. You know the school take you onto the PGL. You have to you actually have to pay for that, yeah. But if you got kids that they disadvantage, yeah. Okay, they can if you talk to your headmaster or something like that, they make you they let you only pay half, yeah. Something like that. That's, they did, yeah, back in then time. They did that for me, yeah. They did that for me. You grow up on benefits or something, yeah. You you on benefits, you, you your kids on benefits, your loan parents, something like that, yeah. Alright? Okay. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed, yeah, about not giving your kid there yeah, the same opportunity as other kids, yeah. All you got to do, yeah, is come forward, in it, talk to them. Yeah, they can help you. And that was a good experience for me. That was a good experience for me. That it helped my confidence. Yeah, because I went away from home. You know, like this. Yeah, it helped my confidence. Help my confidence. I really enjoyed that, yeah. PGL, yeah. PGL, yeah. Yeah, man. I, I, I liked the people that I was grouped up with as well. I actually liked the people I was grouped up with. They were nice. They were nice girls, yeah. And then all the horrible girls were grouped up together. I was happy about that. <laughs> I was happy about that. We was having a good time, yeah, with our sweets. We was having a good time. We was we were sleeping properly. Um, <laughs> we were sleeping properly, and and we had the window, yeah. <laughs> we had the window, yeah, next to the boys we fancied, and the mean girls, yeah, they're the baddies, yeah. They were shut out. They're shut out. They didn't have their access, yeah. They didn't have their access. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was good for me as well. That was good for me. Romeo, Romeo, innit? <laughs> Romeo, Romeo. Yeah. <sighs> the Julia, yeah. <laughs> Julia, yeah. That, 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 that's, my, that's my young person name, innit? Julia. So, anyways... <laughs> I get it now, Lord, yeah, Julia. That's why you're putting Julia in my head, yeah. Romeo and Juliet, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, this thing we had going on over here, yeah. So <laughs> I wrote a passage called that too, Julia. So where are we now, yeah? Other charities, yeah, yeah. And then when I got older, yeah, so so things like yeah, yeah, drugs and stuff, yeah, like drug centers, yeah. These are important for young people, all right. Let let me tell you why that is, all right. These kind of places help, um, the people that work in these places are cool, yeah? First of all, let me say that. Why Why are they so blessed, yeah? Why are they so blessed, like, drugs counselling, yeah? They so blessed, guys, because a lot of them have actually been on drugs, yeah? <laughs> a lot of them have actually experienced, um, experienced getting clean, yeah? And and then yeah, doing this charity in it, a lot of them, a lot of them have yeah. Well, well, pretty much all of them. Like, what kind of experience do you have in it? Like, have you have you ever been on drugs in it? All right. So so a lot of these people they're cool. Um, they really really are. They really really are, and they're really helpful. They're patient, you know. They're patient. And a lot of these places as well, they they start to help. They start to help, uh, God, I feel emotional, yeah? They start to help kids get their life on track, you know? They actually do. Um, they actually do, because, because when it comes to drugs, yeah, they understand that these kids have got so many other issues, you know? They understand these kids have got so many other issues, like, okay, so, so issues in their home life, housing issues, um mental health um um but but we understand as well like the kids they, they, they don't always um they don't always want to go into the kind of the kind of cams yeah we we got something in england called cams right what does cam stand for well it, it's for mental health yeah so like for mental health um but yeah these more independent safeguarding and charities they i do i do really like them yeah I do really like them, um, but yeah, they, 
you know they provide you see they, they know that so they provide counsel yeah and um like this in this way and what else do they do yeah jobs as well like they'll help you write cvs they'll they help young people to um even even becoming sociable yeah like because you see they've got connections yeah speaking of connections yeah they've got connections you see within their borough you know so they know yeah like okay who's who's the guy for the yeah for example who is the guy for the prince's trust who is the guy for connections who who is the guy for for um you know the the, yeah like yeah they even have someone there that does work for the police station but when it comes to safeguarding young people and and then yeah they they, they know about the kind of cams and you know they they, they know about when they, they know where to direct people in it they know they 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 can judge in it the severity of the situation you know um they can judge the severity of it you know they 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 can point the the young people into the right direction. Um, does this always work out a hundred percent? We we're talking about kids here. <laughs> we're talking about kids here. I, I mean me yeah. My my last story my last story was a rocky road. You know, my last story was was uh, to this point now. I mean I've come leaps and bounds. You know, but um wow that really takes me back you know all them years ago this is like over 10 years ago yeah my god yeah yeah well but they know the people for the housing in it they they know all of this and they also they offer that kind of support like they go with them to appointments they you know they they help them to become more sociable as well like yeah they know like a little free club or something like that yeah yeah understanding one's talents and gifts Oh, you love writing? Do you want to do this course? Do you want to get a certificate? They help kids get certificates. Things like that. Yeah, gaining new skills. Yeah, oh, I get a customer service skill or something, you know. and Things like this, yeah. Things like this. Or, or even putting them through college. Helping them fill out applications for uni, you know. And college and stuff. You know, because, all right, like myself, all right, so so I did a lot of different courses. I, I worked a lot of different jobs, you know. I've been involved in a lot of different charities. I've lived in a lot of places. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, all these things, all right, then. So, so, so sometimes things not set in concrete, but you gain skills anyway. So, you know, it's like, just go for it, innit? Just go for it. Um, Just go for it. Just go for it. You know, if you don't like it, try something else, isn't it? All right, no problem, no problem. You know, but these people, yeah, this is the good workers know that, and like, they know these 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 kids, they've been pushed, man. They've been pushed around so much, yeah, so much. Like um, they not um, they're there when you need them, yeah. They ain't forcing you to be there, yeah. All right, they're the good workers. The good workers, yeah, they, they um, I'm seeing measuring devices, yeah, they can measure in it like high risk in it. They 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 trained in it. They're trained, man, and and like I said, it helps when they have experience, you know. Um, they're the best workers, you know. Other charities now, yeah. Yeah, things like you can look at, you can go on their computer, they have they like pizza nights, you know what I'm saying, where other kids go there, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Funny, yeah. Funny, what, what are you laughing at, yeah? People arguing, yeah. Kids arguing there. <laughs> and then people liking each other as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> funny man see what ha see what happens yeah you spend time in a structured environment yeah you see that you have more of this when you're young yeah <laughs> you have more of this when you're young um but yeah things like that are great what else is there what other kind of charity you worked with yeah so speaking of consent and stuff like that so so things like havens and stuff like what do you think about these luna 
I think yeah that <laughs> which part are we talking about forensics or 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 counseling because to be honest with you when it when it comes to stuff like havens yeah and and things like this yeah a lot of these are not very good all right they're not very good in the sense of why well, why are they not very good there's there's not that many around the staff there yeah it's it's, it's like <sighs> yeah experience in it like you have have you yourself like a lot of them are psychologists all right when it comes to the counseling yeah a lot of them are psychologists a lot of them haven't um haven't um been victims themselves yeah all right like i said like it, a good worker yeah a good case worker all right has experience okay has experience and and when it comes to the psychologists all right yeah, they went to uni, they, they studied psychology, all right? But the level of awareness and care, man, is just not there. It's just not there. They're making £100 a day. Ah, I'm a psychologist, yeah? Yeah, but you don't know how to work with people that, that are vulnerable or have been raped, innit? Like, you, you're dealing with real people now, innit? Same with social workers. Ah, I got a degree in social work. That don't make you a social worker. That, that means you got a degree, innit? All right, oh, congratulations, isn't it? But what does that mean for somebody's life? All right, that's what I think about them, and and when it as well comes to things like rape, crises, these these kind of safeguardings for this. <laughs> Let me tell you, you have better luck with you. Yeah? You have better luck with people like um. You have better luck with with other connections, with our other counselling departments, yeah. That that don't yeah that that, that just specialise generally yeah when it comes to safeguarding. I mean a lot of these I'm not I'm not trying to put anyone off here. Yeah? Obviously reach out, but I'm just saying yeah okay from experience when it comes to this kind of thing yeah reach out yeah for these kind of things. They far they few yeah, they far and few okay. A lot of them have waiting lists, all right, to get onto as well. Or you may be pointed to, yeah, not just a psychologist, yeah, but even cognitive behavioural therapy. The issue is with this, all right, if the trauma is still live, if the trauma is still live, like, okay, so say you got a case, yeah, say you got a case, all right, they won't see you, yeah, because the therapy, they, they, they're saying that the therapy's not going to work. Because you're still going through it. Yeah? You know, like this, yeah? Who better deals with these things are people from other departments, yeah? That that do safeguarding work. That, that you know, are more, um, are more, um, I want to say, like, charity-based, yeah? <laughs> charity-based, yeah? Yeah, more, more, more that do kind of well, they all do some type of counselling or safeguarding, yeah. But you can get really, <laughs> it's really good to look at like what what there is locally, what there is locally, yeah, yeah. What 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 can you get, yeah, in your borough, yeah? What can you get from your council? What can you get from your house association? What can you get from um, yeah. What <laughs> what can you get? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. So with like the doctors and stuff, when it comes to the doctors, when it comes to the doctors, I mean like they know of places, yeah, that do this kind of thing. Yeah, drop in services and and then, then they know other charities. You know, you can start get yeah, and then even things like to do your benefits, yeah, stuff like that. They start to help you get your money right. They take you. They can take you to career fairs, you know, like this, yeah. No joke, yeah. I went to a career fair once, yeah. That changed my life, yeah. What ended up happening? I end up. I ended up getting certificated, yeah, in customer service. Became a hairdresser, yeah. Hair, hairdresser and beautician. Set up my own business, yeah. Set up my own business, and then once I knew how to set up my own business, yeah. All right, I I, I knew how to keep doing it. You understand, yeah? You understand, all right? I, yeah, I understood how to make and create my own money because of that. 
I, I, I did know that before, yeah. I did know that before, but when it come to when it come to being a qualified person, yeah, qualified, legit, yeah. It's it's not blood drinking, people. It's called legit. All right, <laughs> being legit in it. Um, but they can help you with things like this too. They don't just help you with with other stuff, yeah. With other addictions or or, or trauma or, or things like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. You go into places like um, you go into places like churches. You go into places like some churches. It's some, all right. You go into places like um, community centers, yeah. Or, or or you know like halls yeah you know like your town your town hall yeah so some churches are town halls as well yeah you go into the town hall yeah they have stuff like that or you go to the office yeah go to the office say oh man i, I need to talk to someone so this happened to me you can go to citizens advice as well they'll they'll point you in the right direction yeah all right so there's lots and lots of safeguarding and charity out there people there's support around you do not feel isolated or like you're alone i promise you all right there is people out there that have not only been through what you've been through in some kind of way yeah but they absolutely yeah they absolutely want to help you yeah and and not even just help you find justice in other people yeah but in yourself you know so you can be yeah, the best that you can be, you know, not just young people, but adults as well, yeah, adults too, parents, yeah, things like this, guys, all right, so that's my video on safeguarding.